What's going on, guys? I wanted to put up a brief announcement update because, you know, people haven't seen me in a while. Um, so the announcement is I am probably going to be going to Linux Fest over the summer. Uh, I've actually been taking some time off this week. Uh, earlier this week, I actually, I, you know, I had a little, I had a little cough. <laughs> so I, you know, called up my boss and I'm like, uh, I might have coronavirus, so I'm not going to come in this week. So I got so much done this week. I have been pruning grapevines. I need a, I'm about to prune my fig tree over there, fig trees, a uh, bunch of stuff. So it's been a, a nice week off, but I'm going to Linux Fest Southeast probably over the summer. They have thought about canceling it because of the, all the virus and stuff, but um, I think their their thinking is that um, uh, it'll probably blow over in the summer and it'll also probably be less severe in hot, hot weather. Uh, either way, um, if you are in the southeast of the United States, of course, I recommend you to go to Linux Fest, just, you know, if you want to see me or anyone else, uh, because I will probably be there. It was actually very nice going there two years ago. Um, I met, uh, I'm very happy to say, in fact, that when I went there, my subscribers who I met, maybe a dozen or so, I, I forget how many people in the, were in the whole event, um, but they were by far, far the normalest people there. So, which you might not think, but it was true. In fact, they looked like normal, well-adjusted people. So normal, you wouldn't even think they used Linux. Crazy. Um, but I will be there again. I'm going to be submitting two talks. One of them I've already submitted. Uh, but an, uh, one of them is going to be on shell scripting, and another, another one is going to be on suckless software. Uh, so um, that's what I'm going to do. We'll see. Uh, anyway, so I've just been hanging out. Look at this. Oh, actually, look at this. Oh, so... My cousin, he had this uh, pecan tree growing in like a pot in his house, or like it was accidental, like an acorn just dropped off, um, and he wanted to get rid of it, so he gave it to me, and we had to sever like this big taproot, and I thought this thing was die gonna die, it was just a stick for like a month, but it finally blossomed out, blossom, wrong word to use, but it's finally actually growing, I'm happy, maybe I'll have some pecans. Uh, actually, let's look at, you know, I never did a video last summer about my fig trees, uh, which I, I have not pruned this one yet for this year. Look at it. It's hum humongous. I will tell you, I got hundreds, maybe thousands. Well, I don't know if thousands, maybe a thousand figs from this thing. They just, I would come out here every morning and just eat as many figs as I could eat and just go back in. And the next day, day there'd be more of them. So uh, I recommend getting a fig tree. It's easy. You know, you just, you can grow them from cuttings. I, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe, maybe I should just grow other ones. I don't know. Um... All right, so anyway, go to Linux Fest, and I'm also I also contacted um, uh, uh, DistroTube yesterday, Derek, uh, and I was like, hey, I know you live in the southeast, you should come too. I don't know, we'll see if he comes. Um, I'm trying to think who else live if there's anyone who lives in the North Carolina, you know, Carolina Georgia area or something like that. It's pretty close. Um, so I will be going there, although, you know, I'm sort of against driving cars in general. I don't know if I've ever talked about that in a video. I do have a car, a uh, cheap car, one of the cheapest cars, you know, you can buy. Um, but uh, I, I just don't like driving long distances. There are many reasons for that. Um, but uh, I think I actually will make the drive instead of taking a bus. Last, two years ago, I just took a bus, took mega bus, super cheap. It was like 20 bucks to go from Atlanta to Charlotte. That's great when you don't have to drive the whole way. You can just do whatever you want on your computer or something. Uh, but uh, it's definitely way cheaper than a plane ticket. But All right, so just rambling at this point, I, I will say that I have a lot in store soon. Um, as you may know, I, maybe I should talk about what I've been doing just to give you context. I know a lot of people just see that I don't put videos up for like a period of a month or two, and they're like, oh, he died, he quit YouTube, he blah, blah, blah. Um, so uh, for the past year or so, or not, not really the whole past year, but since I've moved here, first off, since I moved to the middle of nowhere, I thought my life was going to be quiet and simple and I wasn't going to have anything to do all day and I could just do anti-fragile tinker, tinkering all the time at my house and do whatever I want. Not actually the case. I've actually been really busy, not just with managing the stuff on my land, uh, but like doing, you know, I live close to a bunch of family and I do family stuff, go to church a lot, you can do, just do a bunch of stuff. And I also got a full-time job uh, since I moved down here. I didn't expect to actually get a job. I was like, oh, I'm just going to live off YouTube money or something like that. Um, because, you know, obviously out here there aren't many opportunities in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but still, um, I've been working this day job. I've been wage cucking. Well, not wage cucking. I'm salary cucking, but still. It takes up a lot of time. But when my co contract ends in a couple months, I'll probably be doing stuff more full-time. So if you've been missing my daily videos... Um, 
I, I hope to be doing that soon. I think I'm motivated to do that. In fact, I'll tell you, I'm glad I took this job because originally I was just getting burnt out on doing YouTube videos and, and stuff like that. Now I'm like, I feel more motivated because like, eh, it's, it's not actually as bad. I mean, yeah, you do. Um, it is a little repetitious um, to do some videos and stuff like that, but uh, I'm, I've become a little more motivated to do it. I might actually uh, record some stuff over this weekend if I have the time. Uh, but uh, anyway, so that's it. I, again, I encourage you to go to Linux Fest. Even if you go to Linux Fest with a um, uh, thing over your face or something like that, uh, hopefully it won't get too terrible. I will say, I have lost, I have a brokerage account. I have lost like a thousand bucks because of this coronavirus thing. So annoying. I mean, it's not real money since it's in the stock market, but you know, whatever. Um, uh, but don't don't worry, I'm not, I'm not close to dying or something. I'm, I'm, uh, but anyway... That's about it. See you guys next time. Yeah, that's it. <laughs>